Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Professor. For today's presentation, I'll be doing it in front of my mother. Oh, my dad? And in front of my stepfather. No one. Thank you, everybody. The first of Corinthians 13, 4 through 8. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never ends. But what is love? Love is a friendship. Mm -hmm. When people think of a typical dog, they usually think about a big backyard with a whole bunch of holes, broken cables, long walks, and nonstop working. However, when they're referencing those dogs, they're not referencing a Frenchie. A Frenchie is not a typical, ordinary dog. For starters, they're inside fur babies. They like to keep their walks at a minimum, a need and an end, a need and a want are different. So they're completely fine with 15 minutes in the morning and 15 minutes at night. However, since they're so adaptable and well-mannered, they're easily adaptable to any owner or any buyer. Frenchies are known for rarely barking, but for their charismatic, snorting, almost mumbly type of talking, it almost seems like they're trying to talk to you. They're prominent and well-mannered, and they're highly, they're highly affectionate. That's the one thing I love about them. They're always there for you, and whether you be in a busy household that's always hectic and doing things, or you be in a household that you just wanna lay back and not really do anything, just know that when you sit down, you're gonna have that little meatball right there smiling at you. Now, one of the things about buying a Frenchie is that there's so many different types. There's short hair, there's fur, um, what is it called, furries, there's so many different skin codes, and there's so many different prices. If you was to go online, which is the best way to get access to these pets, you'll see ranges from $1,000 to $5,000 to $10,000. Now, how do you make sure that if you're investing on a lifetime commitment, that it's gonna last you? And how do you know that you're getting a well-quality pet? Well, due to the spectrum, the sizes, some are tiny and petite, some are thicker, one thing that has withstand the test of time is you get what you pay for. <laughs> and it goes a long way with Frenchies too. Mm -hmm. Now. For personal experience, you may find a Frenchie at a low cost and it's very desirable, but you have to do your research. You have to find out if what I'm paying for is gonna be worth it at the long run. I personally believe that it's better to buy a little bit more expensive, but getting a good quality pet that you know the ancestry, you know the parents, you know the DNA, you know that you're not gonna be in the vet every couple months because it's got a disease that you didn't expect. Now. Those are just my personal experiences. But apart from asking local veterinaries or a local friend that knows about Frenchies, what would be a good place to get a Frenchie? I recommend visiting the American Kennel Club. Now, this is me paraphrasing their website. The AKC ensures that history stays with us for its future generation. AKC also helps the buyer know that they're getting a quality new member for the family and avoid spending on poor quality sick puppies. Another website that really helps you um, figure out or narrow down what pet is right for you when it comes to Frenchies is knowing the questions to ask. Are they a reputable reader? Are they knowledgeable? Do they have a health certificate? What are the parents' history like? Do they have any hereditary genetical problems? Seeking an experienced person can aid you in assuring that you made a great choice. Now, in this presentation, I feel like it's easy to just talk and talk and it's always like, do this, don't do that. But I also wanted to demonstrate some of the puppies that we have here. Oh my God. This one right here is my boy, Jogi. He is a nine month old, no Frenchie. I only paid a thousand dollars for him and he looks really good. But look, he's missing a nut. <laughs> <laughs> So even though he's very beautiful, in the future, he might have issues. Why? Because he only has one genital. 
And now I'm going to show you another one. Come here. He's so beautiful. Oh. This right here oh, is a baby girl named Camilla. She is 13 weeks old and she is cream. Now, Camilla cost me more than twice as much as Yogi, but she has almost an impeccable DNA. And I know that I never have to worry about taking her to the bed or having her sick. And this dog is a dog that can make money. This is a dog that when you go out to purchase, this is what you're looking for. I got the DNA, I have health certificates, I know the parents, I talk to multiple veterinaries and multiple clinics. And like I said earlier, you know, sometimes it's worth it to do your research. But these pets, how can you not love these beautiful cute They're so adorable. <laughs> Thank you.